Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. Today we're doing something exciting, which is actually building. We're at Brick Parkway right now, that's where we ended the video last time. And I know a lot of you have been saying to me that you, sh you want to see me building or I should build a new line or something like that. So here we are. Today that's what I'm going to do. So uh, some of the staff and admin, for example Lily on Discord, has helped me write a proposal for what I should build next. So let me show that to you real quick. So this is what we're going to be working with. We're going to start at Windswept Savannah, go down to a potential station, and the Island of Nostalgia is like right here. And then Potential Station, Lost Swamp, Potential Stations, and then Kingsgrove. And then we can keep going south if we would like. So let me show you how that looks on the actual square map. This is Windswept Savannah, Island of Nostalgia, Lost, Lost Swamp, and Kingsgrove. And then we can go further down south if we want to. In the grand scheme of things, we are in the southwest area of Spawn. And on the railway system map, it starts at Windswept Savannah. This is a ferry line actually, the Clementine Ferry. Through the Island of Nostalgia maybe. Lost Swamp, Kings Grove. So it'll be a vertical connection this way. Which is pretty nice because if you want to go from Windswept Savannah to, let's say, Revers Revisby or something, then right now you'll have to go around, maybe through the Snow Troll and then over this way. Rather, now there's going to be a direct connection this way. So what we're going to do is start at Windswept Savannah and work our way from there. This is Stronger Station, and I know that Stronger has some preferences on how he wants the station to be connected and the platforms. Oh, whoa, what is this? Wow, look at this parkour. I want to try doing this. But that's not what we're here to do today. If you want to see a parkour, let me know in the comments, but yeah. Difficulty 4 out of 5. This looks really fun though. Be aware of the block you jump. Okay. So this is Windswept Savannah, and let's take a look at some of the notes that Stronger has given us. I think actually Stronger didn't say much about Windswept Savannah, but what I do see here is that this is a very interesting station in terms of the layout. So we have two platforms kind of stacked like this. It looks like he's even potentially inviting an interchange based on the layout here. I really like this design because it cuts through a mountain like this. Like the terrain isn't flat at all here. But what Stronger has done is kind of made this part glass so you can see out. And if you're on this platform, you can look out as well. And if you're down here, it's kind of a little bit underground, but there are windows up there. So it reminds me of Light King Station a little bit where there are windows and you can kind of see out and it's half underground. I really like how these two platforms are stacked, not just on the same level. It's really more unique that way. So one potential option that I can see because I'm starting my line is that I can put my platform like right here along this wall. That way maybe this part can stick out a little bit to the open and it can be a cross-platform interchange with this platform right here. Unfortunately, people from the bottom platform will have to take an escalator up and around the concourse. But if I start building on this wall, then it can provide a cross-platform interchange. And it can also we can also have some windows on that side. Another option is to build on this wall over here and dig this out. This might be a better option because we won't have to 
cut through this wall and potentially damage the terrain out here. Because this wall is also looking pretty nice currently, and I don't want to destroy that. So maybe we'll go with this option, is that we will build our tracks on this wall and have a cross-platform interchange on this side and maybe use platform screen doors instead of automatic platform gates because we will keep this little overhang maybe because these curved pillars come down nicely. So that's just some of my thoughts, but I think we can start building here. There's a train coming through, so that'll be kind of cool to see how that works. And... Yeah, I don't think there's much more to say about this. I have yet to pick the train stock and car lengths, but I think I'm just going to stick with four cars as well. That's what Lily predicted that I would do. And also, I think this is a four car train as well. Four car, five doors. Yeah, so this will match up pretty nicely with the platform length. And I think the first thing that I'm going to do is grab myself an axe so that I can copy over this side of the platform to mirror it on the other side. Even the tracks as well, I think. So I'm gonna copy this whole... Uh, let me start from that side so I can see where the lift is. Yeah, I'm gonna start from right about here so copy this block and I want to make it symmetrical with the lift here so I think I'll copy up to here and then hmm, let's see how I'm gonna do this copy and then rotate 180. It's been a while since I've built something on here and I'm kind of rusty as well with the commands and using world edit and all of that. So if I paste like this... Oh! Look, it's actually exposed up there. wonder if that caused any issues with the, the parkour. Let me check. Nope, this is all just... This is all just solid in the beginning, so I think we're good there. So let me paste one more time just to be safe. And looks like we're good. And the lift should be symmetrical over here, which it is. Four blocks on each side and our platform will be right there. Okay. That's looking good. Now I think we have to fix up the poles here just to make sure it matches with the other side. And we also have some help lines here. I don't know if I want to mirror the help lines just because it might look a bit cluttered. Let me just try that though. Maybe on this side might look nice. Yeah. There we go. And then... Yep, yeah, we need some pulls here as well. I hope I didn't damage the escalator structure here. And actually we have this big pillar coming down. So we're gonna need to patch that up as well. This used to be quartz something. Oh, I should probably have remembered what that block was. But if we just continue this pillar this way, this can be an option like that. It looks a little bit like restrictive. Oh yeah, see, these are quartz pillars. I'm getting lag spikes whenever I place down a block. I think 4.0 should fix that. That's because whenever I place blocks, it's like a block update, so it tries to recalculate the station color block colors. It's like a chunk update, I mean. So we'll just have to deal with the lag when I place down blocks, but hopefully that's not too bad when we start using world edit to copy and paste stuff because we're editing big sections at once. Okay, I'm just gonna 
copy the wall so that I don't have to manually place blocks every time. And oops. Let's try pasting it like that. Yeah, this will preserve the original structure of the station and allow the walls to curve down like before. Like that. Okay. Okay. And then one more wall over here. There we go. It looks a little bit cramped here, like you can't just get onto the escalator from here unless you jump over the handrail, I guess. But that's okay. It doesn't matter to me very much. Okay, now the next part is to... I think I'm going to keep most of the station decorations here, like the countdown timer and the butterfly light. Even though I don't normally do that with my own stations, but I think it's fine in this case. And the nodes... The nodes copied over? I think so. So let's place down some platform rails. Just to mark the spot so that I can know what I'm doing. Yeah, right here. Alright. There's our platform rail. I think this part I do want to patch up. I don't think I necessarily need to have people be able to see outside. It's not a requirement for me. And let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five block tunnels with stone bricks as the roof. So if I do a five block tunnel here as well, one, two, three, four, five, this part can be all stone brick. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm pretty excited to start building if you can't tell. Set stone bricks. Okay. So we've got that, and I also previously previously mentioned that I want to do platform screen doors instead. Just because this is more of like an enclosed area. Actually, before I delete this, it'll probably be a better idea to mark this before I delete where the door positions are so I don't have to go in and check again. So one, two, three, four, and I like to merge it every two. And it looks like I'm going to be sticking with urban line trains this time, not MLR or something like that. The Spawn Grand Circular has its share of MLRs already, and I think I will do urban line this time. So I just selected this area and I can do stack 38 because a four car train. Oh wait, oops, that was bad. So stack, not 38, but what's half of 40, 20, so probably 18. So do stack like two times to make sure everything got copied over. And I think 18 should be a good number to get to the end. There we go. And place down the remaining end pieces. In 4.0, we're going to have platform slabs, by the way, if you haven't seen that other video where I talk about some updates in beta 9, I think. That was the video. So that's going to be exciting, although it won't really affect what I'm doing here. I just thought about that, and I want to share that with everyone. So how should I do the lining here? Let's see what other blocks Stronger has been using over here. Probably just quartz and smooth stone palette. So there's not much that we can choose from here. I don't want to go too out of the building style. So maybe I'll stick with stone, smooth stone slabs and see what I can do here. So I can just line this like this and then maybe do some sort of texturing with the smooth stone block as well. So like if I do the doorways using this and then this part like that and then I notice we have some andesite walls as well. So what if we did 
Hmm. Wow, it's been a while. I'm kind of rusty with building now. Hmm, not sure. What if we just line this here? Oh, I guess that works. That matches. Like there's no holes in the platform screen doors that we have to worry about if we did this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's see what happens if I stack this. So stack 30 or stack 18. Hmm. That looks okay. That looks okay. I don't know. Something feels off, but it's good for now. I can put stone brick at the end, no, like that. Ah, why is building so hard? I can patch this up with stone bricks. And then the ceiling here, let's see. I guess just smooth stone, just like the other parts. Okay, let me try doing that first. Smooth stone, I want this part as well. Okay, I think that's that's okay for now. Let's just get a move. Let's just move on from this. Okay. Since we have lighting on the floor, I don't think we'll need extra lighting up top. And I was originally thinking if we had some upside down stairs, we can use some of that. But there's no upside down stairs for smooth stone. Right. Yeah, I don't think so. So we can't put like upside down stairs to line the top, but this is okay for now. Okay. So with all other stations, I feel like we should have some signage, which would make sense for here, especially as an interchange station. I think Stronger is lacking some signage up here as well. Well, he has this, which is okay, but I feel like it would be better if we added some signs in the middle as well. Not sure if he'll like that though, but let me try it anyway. So it looks like his station has a width of an odd number, which is good. So we can align these signs like that. And oh, it's been so long since I built all of this stuff. Uh, where are the sign poles here? RS for really sign. Cool. Oh, and I can only start building from down here. Okay, so what I usually do, so platform one would be that way. So since this is like a stair only, I can also do something like that. I forgot the like the official MTR specs. I don't know if there's such a thing as a design handbook, but I forgot if the stair icon goes in front or behind behind the train symbol. So Actually, I might want to use a bigger sign for this. Yeah, so I think arrow, stairs, since this is going down, so we're going to use this icon, train, and platform. Something like that. Yeah, 
I think that doesn't look half bad. Oh. Are these not aligned? Wait. Oh, the escalators are not aligned. How funny is that? Okay, so I made the other side as well. And now I'm going to copy. So this is platform 2, platform 1, and on the back is the same. And here is the escalator one. So let me line myself up to the middle and to the escalators and then paste. There we go. And this one, we don't need the symbol. So I'm just going to do it like this. We can even use five block signs, but just to keep it consistent. I'm going to keep using this and change the icons here. Especially with my new line as well. I don't want people to get confused about which escalator to go down. So I'm going to do something like, like I'm going to definitely make sure I have my signage up and ready to go before my line opens. So copy all these changes. So one and two, right? And here as well. There we go. Cool. I'm not going to do it for the lift. Doesn't matter. Okay, so this side, or after we get down to the platform, we will also need signs on here just to be consistent with everything. I think it'll be better to use the even signs. Like this. So this is platform one. And I can actually control click, control middle click to copy the metadata on the sign. So when I place it, it automatically appears. For this section, I'm going to need some overhangs. Maybe I'll put it straight in the middle like that. All right. Perfect. So now when you're coming down the escalator, you'll be like, oh, OK, this is the right platform for me. That's just something I enjoy doing for stations, and I think it's a good addition. So for the other side, we will have two platforms. So this will be even more important that we set this up. So I think copying the other side's design. We need six blocks for two signs. But I don't really want to have it come out from here, actually. Maybe more like in the middle. Hmm. Thinking about how to do the overhang for the signs in the middle. Because putting it right here will be too close to the escalator. And I don't want to block this pathway either. But I think it's OK, kind of. Uh, maybe. I don't know how I want to do this. Because if I put the signs right here, then they're going to get covered like this. And that's not good. There's a train. Or I could do stacked signs too. I don't know. What about here? Here I can maybe put the signs hanging down from here. The thing is that this is this area is not symmetrical. So this makes it a bit harder to work with, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have pasted my side 
in accordance with the lift. Is the lift also five blocks over here? Yes, it is. Because the lift is five blocks, but the escalator coming down is only four blocks. I guess but combined with these pillars, it would make sense. But I also wouldn't... Mm, I guess I can do this to match the other side as well. And then put down these helplines like that. Okay. And this side wouldn't have that pillar. And then here we have the pillar. Alright, I think it's not too bad. Okay. Um, let's just start by putting these signs here first. So we could do stack signs. Like that. Okay, let me rename my platform first. This is going to be platform 3. 10 second dwell time is okay for now. So, platform 3. It's nothing yet. That's why it's blank. And then this will be... Platform 2. So, copy, copy. Maybe I should do two on top, just so it's in order. Oops. Like that. Yeah, I think that's okay. We can always change the signs too, like this is not locked, set in stone. We can always edit this, which is the good thing. Okay, so I think I'm just going to... Hmm. I'm just going to put these signs right here. Yeah, okay. So this will be three, just like the other one, and then this will be two. All right, I think it doesn't look the greatest, but it'll do for now. Maybe we can put one more and these poles down here as well, like that. All right. Oh, there's a train up here as well. This looks pretty cool. You can see the train from down here. Really good design. Okay, which also means that we are going to have to update our signage here. Hmm, that's a lot of signs to update. Three. Facing, okay. So this is platforms two and three. So we could just tag it on here. Yeah. All right, I've updated all the signs. Let me show you what I did. So I put two and three here with also the train symbol before there was no train icon here but it's more in line with the MTR specs to have the train icon here as well. So I also updated the lift sign and then when you come down here you will be greeted with these signs to tell you which platform is which. Alright so technically I think we should have these ones as well but they're kind of blocking the way so people can just come up here and read the map here. Okay, so that part is done and good to go. And I think this platform is also good to go. We're nearing the end of the service day for <laughs> this line. So this train is in 293 minutes. 
Yeah, after this last, the third train, it'll be the last train of the night. Because it's nighttime in Hong Kong right now, and Stronger is in Hong Kong. So, let's start building the line. So this is facing north, this is facing south. So I would assume that this would be the end of the line. So we don't need the signal here. Maybe we can just convert this into stone brick as well. And then maybe buffers. I don't know which block. This block kind of, if I put it here, it kind of clips as I'm Z fighting. So I don't want that. So maybe I'll just put it here. And then we'll need a little dummy section of rail. So how far can I actually put the node? Maybe I can put it here as well. That looks pretty good. Or even, we can make this go inside as well. Like this. And then cover it up. And it just looks like the track just goes all the way in. Okay, so this side is good. Yeah, I don't know what block to use here other than just... Oh, maybe I can use this. Okay, doesn't matter that much. And then this side we can keep digging. So let's do a little bit of practice digging. So I like to fully enclose my tunnels with the block, so it's not just a random block right here. So... Also, how high are Stronger's tunnels? I know I've counted earlier, but I forgot. One, two, three, four, five in the middle. And I think Stronger is just using... just. Yeah, just stone bricks all the way. So I can also do that. And one, two, three, four, five. And then... Actually, I think this block will be stone bricks, and then this block will be slab. It's just the, for the signal. For the signal, we'll use a full block, but otherwise... This will be like this. So I'll select this. Yep, and that stone bricks. Position two. So let's try stacking like 10 first. All right, that looks good. So we can continue this way. We can continue stacking this way now. Yeah, that's just what Stronger has been doing this whole way. So, wow, <laughs> the tracks kind of come out here. I haven't, I don't know if I've been through this line this way, but I wonder if the tracks stay elevated or like one is over the other like this. Maybe it just stays like that, interesting. This looks like it's preparing for cross-platform interchange. Wow, there's so many like blank tunnels in here. All right, actually, anyway, that doesn't matter that much with us because we're just building south and strongest line here goes east and west. One thing that we're gonna need to be aware of is that this tunnel, if I keep Digging straight is going to cut through this one, which we don't want. So we're going to have to go a little bit lower. And let's actually plot out where our next station will be first. Or no, I can just cut until I come out of the mountain first. So... 
Yeah, I'll stack a little bit more, maybe like 50. 50 blocks, then we can start curving down. I'm trying not to build like unrealistic slopes now. So wish me luck. Oh, and also this is all going to be single tracked just at the part entering the station. So I should probably put some signaling as well. So the single tracked portions will have to be signaled. But otherwise we won't need we don't we won't need it. So I might as well do it. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. This part doesn't need to be signaled. Because the trains won't ever go back there. And yep, this part is signaled. And then we can start curving down here while splitting into two tracks at the same time. So that might be a little bit challenging. But I don't think it's impossible. Okay. So how far down do we want to go? And what coordinate is this? This is 5273. X5273. So we come over here. I'm going to use this as a reference point. I think this is 5273. Wait, what happened? Why am I so far off when I was just trying to fly in a straight line? Okay, this is 5273. I'm going to dig down a bit. One, two, three, four, five. One more just to be safe. Put my node here. And this is going to be our slope. This way. I don't think that is too steep. So that's fine. And then to make this split off, I usually give some clearance of one block on each side, and then an extra block, and then one and two would be where our node is. So there's going to be three blocks in between. Cool. And this split off is going to happen like that. I should probably be using one-way tracks just to make it perfectly clear how the split is going to work. Oh. What did I press? Okay, so these are one way now. Perfect. And now we're going to use the tunnel creator. It's been a while since I used all of these, but I think we want the 5-3. I think let's use the 5-5 five five just so that there's no clipping no clipping involved. Okay, so I want to select this block for the floor, this block for the walls, and we will apply them all together. Actually, I forgot the best order to apply them. I think wall, then bridge, then tunnel. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's try this side as well. We might have to do the tunnel twice because it's gonna build a second wall afterwards. So wall... Did I click it? Wall bridge, and tunnel, and we'll probably need a tunnel for this side as well. Like that. There we go, and then finally we'll need the bridge one more time. Looks like the roof is okay, so that doesn't have to be fixed. Alright, 
So the bridge on the floor. There we go. And I think I want to make this section signaled as well. In 4.0, you're going to have the ability to filter signals. So this signal will technically be always red when the train is in here. But with 4.0, you can just make this section another color as well. So for example, pink and blue. And so you can tie the signal to only blue. So then it'll be green when the train is trying to pull out, but new trains won't come in because there's still a signal there. So you can filter the colors that a signal light is going to be displaying, which is useful for situations like this. Okay, let's just check if there are any holes in the floor. So like there's a hole right here. It might be a little bit hard to spot sometimes. Did I see another one? No, that, that's already patched. But I think it looks good otherwise. And for this part, just to make it consistent, I'm going to replace this back with slabs. I think I'm just going to use this tunnel style for my builds here because I'm going to be intersecting with a couple of stronger lines and I want to stay consistent. Okay. Okay, so this actually shows the length of my track, the radius, and I don't know what's P, percentage incline maybe? But I'm trying to add that back to 4.0 as well because people have noticed that it's missing. Okay, so we have our double tracks here, which is great. And now... What we want to do is to keep stacking. So let me fix up the tunnel a little bit as well. So we're using stone, bricks, and slabs just like that. Stone, bricks, and slabs. So if I'm going to copy the tunnel, yep, this is all stone brick, which is good. And we can like stack 50. And don't forget to replace the nodes. And then we can start building our tracks. For straight tracks, you don't need to use the creator items. So it looks like when we come out here, we're going to hit some water. So let's see how that turns out. Oh, Sleepy is here. Sleepy helped me plan the proposal. Sleepy is Lily. And so maybe she'll check out what we're doing. One. Two, three, four, five. There is an extra block of height. Okay. Doesn't matter too much because we can just cover it like that. I think, yeah, 77, stack 50. Let's just put down these nodes first because it's making me a little bit nervous. All right. I'm happy with this. Like it looks pretty nice currently. All right, so we've made the slope down and the next step is just to figure out how far that work how far we're going to build that way so i think all this track work looks good
Let me ask Lily real quick to check out my station. Okay, Lily is here, although I think she's in Sir Spectator. There's a train up here. And... Where is she? Oh, she's in Spectator right there. Hmm, what do you think? I don't know what she is indicating, but this is my platform. It's a cross-platform interchange with platform 2. I just noticed I probably should patch up this area a little bit. So, looks like generally there's some coarse dirt here, so I'm gonna try to follow the pattern here. I think Leaving this as stone brick is okay. This is coarse dirt, right? Yeah, so Lily is saying that Stronger planned the station quite well to accommodate. Even though it wasn't planned for a cross-platform interchange, so that's pretty cool. We were able to take advantage of his station layout and just patching this area up to make it look a little more natural. It uh, doesn't look natural. <laughs> ah, good enough. Alright, this stone brick section can just stay, I guess. Or we can put a skylight, which... I don't think I'm gonna do... although... nah. <laughs> well... <laughs> let's see. Let's just see how that would look. Oh. Well... <laughs> alright, alright. I guess I will keep it. Doesn't look half bad, I suppose. And then this... Oops. Yeah, this can be like that, and then... Okay. Cool. Yep, I did it. I made it a skylight. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so let's go back to what we're doing. So our tracks are going to keep going this way until the next station. Let's take a look at the map again. So according to this map that Lily has, we are at Windswept Savannah, we're going south, and we're cutting through some water. And then the goal is probably to have a station to the west of the Island of Nostalgia. So there could be a shuttle in between here. So. We can't just go straight down. We need to curve around somehow. To the left. To the west. Let me actually go to the Island of Nostalgia and see where that is. How far it is. So, actually... I thought this would be farther, but it seems like we're like about a third of the way there. Or fourth already. I thought we were only like back here. But... Seems like our tunneling already got us over here. Actually, no, did I just fly? Anyway, we'll need to go a bit over to the left. I'm thinking maybe of doing 45 degree rails, although that might be a bit harder. Uh, maybe 90 degrees is okay. So Stronger's rail turns off this way, so I might just go here. All right. We'll see when we get there. Alright, so we're going to continue building. And if I want to do a 45 degree turn, I don't want the radius to be too small. Uh, in 4.0, I'm going to have like a ghost rail building thing. 
where you can see a preview of the rail that you're building and also see the radius and stuff like that but it's not here in this version yet so I mean not like yet I'm not gonna update 3.0 anymore for the mod let's see where I am actually I just think building a good 45 degree rail is not easy based on the current resources we have as in like you can't measure the radius because the challenge of building a 45 degree turn is that you can cut corners cut the corner really tight unintentionally when you're building the rail so if i i could end the turn wait a minute because if I'm building a 45 degree rail, I essentially have to walk in a 22.5 degree angle somewhere here and then put down 57 is my Y level. So that's, oh wow, I got it pretty exact. So this is 57. So now that I connected that, I just make sure that it's not too sharp of a curve, which it looks like it's pretty good. So I'm going to keep that. And then the other track would be somewhere along here. I'm going to keep the three block spacing as usual. So one and two and three. Wait, one, two, three, and node right here oops doesn't matter this will be replaced with the tunnels anyway so that's a 45 degree turn right there and then i do want to go a little more forward 45 degrees Okay. Yeah, those these rails look good. I'm happy with that. What if I just didn't Oh, actually. Wait a second. Maybe a better idea would just be to extend Wait, I'm confusing myself. Okay, I want to regen this area. That's what I'm going to do first. So, I'm going to delete these rails first. Like, I don't want to have to do a straight 45 degree section. Because that seems like too much work. So, what I'm going to do is to go about halfway between this station and the other station so then I won't have to do a straight section. So I'm just going to keep going straight. I have square map open on another monitor. So right about the middle. Oh, this is in the middle of the ocean. This might make it a little bit... Ah, oh, kind of changes my plans a little bit. Because over the ocean, I would prefer making a bridge rather than a tunnel. And it looks like this is already... <laughs> this is the island. That's funny. And there's a quest here too. Island of Nostalgia. We're using the duck boats. <laughs> That's great. And so the station will be around here somewhere. Okay, I don't want to make a huge S-curve like that. Because that also doesn't look good. So maybe if I'm looking at the map, if I just skirt around the edge. Wow, this is really beautiful terrain. I kind of want to... Mm, let's just stick with tunnels first for this part. Just because it's easier. No, overground looks pretty nice. Ah, the dilemma. Okay, I want to go above ground. That's my final decision. And so after going 
down, we can totally start sloping up here and then end up here. So while we're sloping up, I would want to do a straight line, not curves just yet. So it seems like this is about a straight line for us. Five, two, six, nine, and seven, three. Five, two, six, nine, right here. There, and then, oh, seven, three. But I think I actually want to end the slope earlier so that the trains have some space to flatten out before they come out. One, two, three, and a node here. This will all be fixed using the tunnel creator or something like that anyway. Okay, so from this node we will travel all the way back. This is also not too steep of a curve, so I'm okay with this. In hindsight, I think what we should have done is to go over these two tracks, but I don't think there's enough space. So going underneath will probably give us a less steep curve. So that's what we've done, and I'm happy with that. All right, so, oops. Sometimes when I'm trying to switch game modes, I accidentally type press F2 to screenshot, which I don't mean to, but oh well. So where are the tools? We were using 5.5 five before. All right. So the floor is going to be slabs, and then the tunnel wall, I think it's still set to stone bricks. Perfect. One, two, and three, and then I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try doing the tunnel first, then the walls, and then the floor. Since this is a straight track, it's probably easier to calculate. The only issue is if there is gravel in the tunnel, then it's going to fall down and block stuff. But it looks like we're clear for this section. Walls. Wait, I did it the wrong order, but since it's a straight track again, I don't think it matters too much. Just got to do one more tunnel here and we'll be good to go. Okay really excited about this. The goal for the video today is to at least get some trains running between the two stations. So that's what I'm gonna try to do and there we go. Well since this ground came right up to the node I'm just gonna do that to match it on this side and the ceiling drop happen over here. Just some small things to be consistent about. Alright, so this part looks good. The slope up. And then this part is where we'll actually come out and see daylight. Uh, I actually built it quite close to sea level, so the bridge that we're going to have isn't going to be much of a bridge. It's just going to be like a floating thing, but that's okay. It's kind of like the 520. 520 is a highway, a state route in Seattle that has a floating bridge. I think I've talked about that in one of my other videos too. So let's just cut through first and see what that track takes us. And I do want to do a stack here first. One, two, yeah, I don't think I'll be using these tunnel tools anytime soon because we're outside now. So the node is where? The node is here. Let's put that back before it's too late. And then one, two on this side, and then this will be flat. And then 
we're stacking from here. Stack 100. I know we just covered. <laughs> we just covered this part on the outside, but I'm gonna dig it out again later. Actually, do 200, 250. So we can come out here. Perfect. So I'm gonna put some nodes in the middle as well, just at random spots. I'm not really gonna be counting. All right. In 4.0, it doesn't really matter anyway because trains will automatically stop behind one another even on the same track. So you don't need to space out your nodes strategically anymore because trains will accurately detect where the train in front of it is. I'm really excited to upgrade the Let's Play to 4.0. Should we do a little skylight here? <laughs> I really don't think that's necessary. But that's kind of funny though, just that little cut. And also here, slightly cutting through that cave. Alright, the rest of this looks good. So just this part we should fix up. So um, maybe I'm gonna do something like I've did on Send Town. I've done on Send Town, which is to do a gradual slope for the tunnel wall. So first let me cut out this section. Make sure that I didn't chop any rail nodes. How is Stronger doing his bridges? He's just doing stone bricks, okay. Nothing too fancy there. I think I'm also gonna leave this like that. So I'm gonna find some stairs. And go like that. This is like a simple design, but it works pretty well. Um, we don't need that top bit. And for this side, this is more of a steeper cutoff. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hmm. Maybe the better solution is to just line this all the way out. Like that. And then for this side, the same. All right, one, two, three, four. Oh wait, I did it. Did I do it wrong? These are indented one extra. So it's getting nighttime. Not that it matters for anything, but here we are for the tunnel entrance. And perfect. I could also do a little bit of a curve around the top, but I don't think that's too necessary at this point. Maybe I'll try to copy this entrance design to the other side and see how that plays out. Copy, rotate 180. And I think I can realistically paste it here. Oops, one block off. So I'm just checking for if it cuts through blocks like that. So I think that was too far. So undo and paste. Yeah, that lines up much better. So this can go, and I think I can chop down that tree. 
I think we still have the tree chopping mod installed, so I can just go like that, and the whole tree's gone. Alright, cool. This tunnel is looking pretty good. We could have more support down here. So if we grab some slabs, smooth stone slab, and just line the bottom a little bit. And then maybe... Because it'll just give some, like, indents. Smooth stone slab type top. And then fill in these holes. Perfect. Now it's not just a flat line. It actually has some depth to it. Which is good. Okay. Moving on to the next section. I still need to make that big curve, by the way. That problem isn't eliminated yet. Oh. And also here. Since this is a like a more shallow slope, I think my tunnel exit will have to be more shallow as well. So first, let me cut out this section. And I might have to replace the nodes. Okay. Slabs. Stone brick slabs, we won't need the stairs anymore. So let's see how that goes if I just do it like that. Is it cutting it too close? It might be. Well, that might actually be perfect. See? Okay. I like the look of that. And gotta match the same on the other side, so I'm just gonna copy this. Copy and paste. And then this part can all go away. Alright. This is looking good. And this tree kind of looks out of place because it's just floating on stone. So this needs to go. All right. Yeah, I like this. Okay, now for the curve. Let me show you where we are at on the square map. So Wow, square map updates really quickly. We can even see our bridge and our tunnel already built here. The tunnel exits are also rendered. So we're here, and we need to get here. So it's a very sharp curve. I might as well just do a normal 90 degree curve at this point. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, because there's no way I can get over here so quickly. Unless, unless... Unless I do a 45 degree from this part. Or a 90 degree here. And then follow the shoreline to come here. That might look better, actually, than just a floating bridge in the middle of the water. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, I think that's a better option. Let's scout out this area first of all to see because we're going to have to make a sharp turn here and then follow the shoreline. Mm, maybe a water bridge might be better. Because I do... Oh no, I want to cut through here. 
Yeah. I do want to cut through this terrain, so... Yep. We will scrap this tunnel, because it's really hard to make a water bridge look nice unless it's, it's like a straight line. Then you can do something like a suspension bridge or other styles, but for a curved water bridge, it's hard to make it look good. So let me clear out this, unfortunately. We're going to have to regen this part. And maybe put the tree back somehow. Yeah, this tree is like, it needs to grow back. Position 2 and regen. Hopefully the tree comes back. Oh, plenty of trees came back. Whoa. I don't think those trees were there before. And this savanna, this acacia tree is like... I feel like the biome is different. Uh, uh what happened? I don't know. Alright, let's just leave it. This looks fine as it is. Okay, so as we mentioned, I think I want to make the tracks end here instead. This little stub, it doesn't really matter too much because it's in a tunnel and people leave stubs all the time. And it's not affecting the terrain in any way. Okay, so starting from here, I want to make a sharp 90 degree turn. Not like super sharp, but kind of sharp. So I'm going to travel probably up to the coastline, actually. Pretty close to the coastline. Where is the coastline? That's like right here, I think. Okay, 65. So somewhere here can be where my nodes are. One and two. Hopefully this is not too sharp. No, this is not a sharp curve at all. This is good, I think. All right, let's take the tunnel tools back out and let's get building again. So stone, stone brick, and here we go. So first, I want to do tunnel, wall, and bridge. Oh. Oh no. All right. Hmm. This part needs to be cut out later. Tunnel, wall, bridge and then we'll need one more tunnel on the right side to cut out that extra wall bam okay now we just check for holes like that okay make sure these all look okay. Oh, why does it do that? This is kind of annoying. Maybe I should have done the wall after. Okay, it's just a one time thing, so I learn for next time. I'll do the wall first. All right, that has been fixed and our tunnel's looking good. So now what we have to do is just to make a long curve all the way to our destination now. So I'm gonna clear out this area a little bit later. 
So this whole part can be an exposed bridge. We don't have to have a tunnel wall, this whole section. But I think eventually here goes into the mountain. Yeah, like right here. So this half can be outside. So I'll do that in a little bit. But I want to complete the tracks first. And now the chunks are not loading. I don't know why. Maybe there's more people. Alright, I have made the tracks off screen. So this is about where the station is going to be, like right around this area. Because if I go straight east, I should hit the ferry stop. Okay, so that's where my tracks are. And I'm going to show you where the tracks go. So here is another node. And from here is going to kind of follow the shoreline a little bit, cut through these mountains, and have a little area here where people can look out. This is a really beautiful place. And then cut through the rest of the tunnel here. And then join here. And this area can all be cut out too. Alright, so I will build the tunnels again. Okay, construction has completed. So let me clear out some of these trees again. Unfortunately, we'll have to do that. At least the stuff on the on the stone, because that doesn't really make sense. Okay, not too many trees need to be cleared out. Wait, where am I? Okay, this is the end of my tunnel. And this stone brick stuff needs to go. And this, this part can stay. Is this a ravine or something? Yeah, this is not really fully exposed to outside. So we don't need to dig out that part. And then here, this part needs to go. So what I'm going to do right here is to do a big replace. This is a strategy you can also use with world edit is replace stone bricks zero. So zero is air. So that's what it'll do. It's not perfect, of course, and it might leave weird, like, slopes like that, but it's better than having to break every block manually. Alright, and these overhangs are also kind of annoying. And I don't really like this water, so I'm gonna patch that up. So this part also can be shaved off a bit. Oh, there's so much work to do, actually, to clean this up. Hmm, don't really want to do that right now. I just want to get the trains running. Ah, This is not recognized as a tree. That's annoying. We have to wait for it to despawn by itself. Okay. So this part will also have to be replaced. All right, so right about here first. up to let's say let's do here first okay uh, I wish there were people to help me clean up this bridge because I don't want to do it myself this is more work than what was there before I guess that's my choice to not go through the water instead, but to follow the coastline, and that's just a byproduct of that. Okay, I'm going to 
leave these stone brick sections like this for now. I know it's not good, but next time I'll clean it up in maybe the next video or I'll do it off camera. All right, the node is here. So we'll clean up this area a little bit because this area is not really a tunnel, but I also still want the the same bridge design. Something like this. And the blocks up here should all be clear. So I'm gonna include this in my world edit selection. So stack maybe 200 that way. So this will cut through these nodes. So these need to be replaced. And we've got some falling sand. All right. So this is gonna be approximately where the station is. So I want to line it up pretty closely to the ferry terminal. Yeah, so maybe stacking 200 wasn't enough. Maybe I'll do 300. So that goes all the way there. Great. 400. 400 is good. So my platforms will be about here. So the platforms need to be 101 blocks long. Here. One and two, and now we can connect the rails here. Perfect. All right. So this is going to be the next station. I have no idea what I'm going to name it. So I'm just going to do something first. Nostalgia West. Okay, that's going to be the name for now. Oh, why go? Okay, for now I'm gonna name this Nostalgia Line because I don't know what to name it. <laughs> okay, so actually thinking about it, I might want to put the depot at the end of the line. On that side. Just so that I... Because I might want to set the trains to run indefinitely. So that's how I can do it. So it's going to be under a testing mode right now. So yay, there's my, there's my route map. Nostalgia West. Windswept Savannah to Nostalgia West. But I'm going to also put fences here because it's still a work in progress. Stack. Let's see if I can do this properly. 20 doors times 5 blocks for each door. Stack 100. Wow, World Edit actually merges the fences. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was gonna say, wow, World Edit will merge the stair models or the fence models properly, but no. Still have to update it manually. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna put the siding like over here. <laughs> You're not gonna like this, but whatever. You're not gonna see the trains come out anyway. So, how I'm gonna do this? 
Wait. Oh, who's here? That's Navi. Nice. So I'm gonna copy this area. Copy and paste. And then stack a hundred. So theoretically, this will be a hundred and one blocks, if my calculations are correct. Yep, okay, perfect. And then we'll put a siding right here. This will be a hidden siding. Need a node here. All right, cool. So no one will ever go inside. All right. So the siding's hidden in here. What train do I want to use? I'm thinking just the standard old M train. And then we want one vehicle for now. And then we need a depot. I do want to put the same color. And then, wait. And then edit instructions. Nostalgia line south, north, repeat forever. Yeah, we didn't connect the platforms at the end yet. So maybe I'll just do a temporary turn back, as I always do. And then we can see trains running. Oh, I should probably mark the station as WIP as well, just so that visitors won't get confused. I think this is our station. There. And then Temporary turn back will be right here. Actually, I'm gonna make this a little nicer. Yeah, I'm going to actually do this justice and make a proper turn back this time. Wow, changing things up. All right, so 101 blocks again. I don't even know if we have space. No, we don't. All right, so this will go. Some say low. Some say okay. Stack one hundred. Bam. Oh, forest is online. All right, so this will be. About a hundred blocks. 101 here, perfect. So my turn back will be exactly 101 so that the trains can back out properly. And then maybe about here, I'll put my rail this way. This can also be a crisscross. I don't know what the official term for that is, but actually no, that's not wide. It's not wide enough here to make a proper crisscross here. If I'm gonna continue my tracks, but that's okay. I'm gonna refresh this. Yay! Successful. Okay, train should be running now. Let me put my platform blocks down. Probably just use this type. It's my favorite anyway. So stack 100. Yep. And here. Stack 
sack 100. Okay, my platforms are going to be here. And it looks like I've designed myself... Uh, what's the opposite of an island station? Bay platforms? Island platforms? Bay platforms? I think... Oh, the first train. Okay. Should I take a ride? Yep, let's do it. So yeah, I've, I've not designed myself an island platform, so we'll see how this plays out. That means people who want to get across to the other side have to go up and over. I guess no one would really need to do that unless you've taken the wrong train. In which case, too bad for you. <laughs> you have to go up and around to get to the opposite platform. But otherwise, if you want to change to the ferry or something like that, you will have to exit through the concourse anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so trains are running indefinitely on this line. And we're only having one train here for now. Windswept Savannah, perfect. Okay. Let's enjoy our first ride. This is like the inaugural... Actually, not really, because the tunnels aren't even done. The station's not done, and it's not even open to the public yet. So, at least the track is done and the trains are running. I'm happy about that. And it doesn't look too steep. Like, the train's not really struggling. And I don't think we've clipped into any blocks yet. So that's a good thing. I wonder if Navi is, like, looking at this right now. Wondering, like, what am I doing? Okay, wait. Okay, I thought I clipped through the fence for a second. But that's good. Okay, even if visitors... Even if visitors manage to jump on top... Yeah, there's no way that they can get in, because even if visitors manage to get on top here... Oh wait, they still can. That's not good. Because I feel like you can kind of parkour... Uh, maybe not. But if you have ender pearls, you can definitely throw an ender pearl in there. Okay, it doesn't matter. People can just walk in here if they want, but it's fenced off right now because it's work in progress. Oh look, there are trains. Oh, that was scary. My computer just ran out of disk space again just now so i had to clear some files i thought that was the last train of, like the last train of the night already left but it looks like there are more trains coming which is weird okay anyway my trains are running like clockwork and i'm pretty happy about this so i guess the main objectives today were met being put a third platform here and connect the two stations and have trains running through. So that objective has been met. Although there can be more work done regarding... Hmm, wonder why this signal's not working. But there can be more work done regarding the tunnels and the layout. And so, yeah, we'll continue that next time, or I just clean up the tunnels off screen. But I'll definitely build the next station on camera, so don't worry about that. I'm just gonna do clean up here off screen. It's been over an hour of this video, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying the new building that I'm doing now, back to building, and not just riding trains and observing. Hopefully you're enjoying this new series of building as well. Let me know down in the comments what you think. The train's arriving again. Maybe I'll put some arrival displays. I like to use this kind. I'll just put them like here. Oh, it's so annoying when the chunks aren't loading. I'll just put them right here, so that if visitors manage to stumble upon the station, then they can see when the trains are coming. 
not that they need to. Alright, thank you so much for watching, I'm gonna end the video here, and next time hopefully we can finish building the station here and add the ferry connection. I might have to add another proposal for a ferry shuttle to the island of nostalgia, but I'll let you know how that goes. So make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already to be notified of future updates of the mod and of the Let's Play. So thank you so much, and I'll see you next time! Bye!